Hey, everybody. How's it going on this Tuesday? Tuesday, I tell you. Um, so I'm Heather. I'm Director of Education here at Luminous. Guys, we are here each and every day for you. So you learn more and more about Luminous, what we have to offer, and just all the coolness that we have. Because we have everything from skincare to airbrush, which is what we're known for, and color cosmetics, full range of color cosmetics. And so um, I'm going to go over how to do your makeup from start to finish. And I think I'm going to do a really smoky eye today. Um, I thought, hey, let's have some fun and live it up a little. Um, so let's do that, shall we? Um, but I am going to show you. We are going to put lashes on. Um, we're going to do it all. We're going to do it all. Um, I am going to start off with, or if you... We're in the 10 o'clock, you know that I used our super fruit cocktail. Bonjour, mon chéri. How are you, Danica? How's it going, girl? Um, in my head, I'm just thinking of what exactly. My go-to is the CC concealer um, with Silk 4-in-1. Um, so I'm just trying to maybe think of... Um, Something else. I still haven't. Uh, hey, Jen. I did not get my um, peach color corrector because that's the other one that I use quite often. And so um, I think what I'm going to do is uh, stretch. I'm going to use um, our concealer. I love our concealers because they really do. They stay in place. They're not going to go anywhere. Um, and so let's use those. I'm going to use, because I'm doing, I'm going to do a real smoky eye. I'm going to start off. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Leora. I'm going to start off with the eyes. So I'm using the buff. Ah, Jen loves the CC concealers. Yeah, uh, that is, I have to say that's my go-to. I like the airbrushing of the concealer. I feel like it doesn't, um, I just feel like it looks better underneath my eyes. Although I am going to show you some tricks on how to um, not concentrate the concealer like straight underneath the eye. Um, let's use, I'll use the palette. Uh, Jen, what do you need it for? What do you want? Um, Jen says she's debating between the yellow and the peach prism. So what are you wanting it for? And just real fast, I don't, I'm out of, oh wait, here's some powder. Ah, found it. Ah, I put everything up and I couldn't find anything. And now, but if in a bind, I was going to use the powder out of the cut one palette, the flat white, if I needed some, but um, I'm using our compact and I'm just brushing a itty beansy weenty bit of powder on the um, lid because I used the regular concealer as my primer. Um, because anytime you use any cream base or something like you're going to have to set it. So there you go. Now I'm going to reach down here. Yeah, the peach, I, I would all, peach is the bomb. Ugh, where's my, oh, here it is. <laughs> um, I'm going to use, I got a lot of compliments yesterday with this one. So I'm going to use the Nude and Naughty. Um, you know, I've been using our um, um, click and plays because they're amazing. Um, but let's use our new than not be. And since we're doing, I'm actually doing a super smoky eye today. Um, and so that first color that I'm going to put on, hello, Beth. Um, the first color I'm going to put on is going to be in my crease, but different than what I normally do. Cause I'm going to go dark on my lid. I'm going to do here. Oh, Amy, you got yours for Christmas. Yay. Yes, girl, just practice. You'll love it. You'll love it. Just remember, 
Stay four finger widths away, keep moving, and barely pull back on that trigger. That's what you want to practice. But yeah, have fun with it. Do uh, practice with water first, and that way you just have fun and just go to town. Ooh, Kathleen. Um, okay, well, <laughs> that's an open-ended question. Kathleen said, what would you suggest as an, as an initial first-time order? So first, my question is, do you have an airbrush system? Like, are you thinking about, is this the first time you're thinking about ordering it? Or are you becoming a luminous beauty? That's a lot of questions. Um, so let me know that first, and then I can help you with that. Okay. So because I'm going super dark on the lid, I'm going to go pretty either neutral, light, medium in that crease because this is actually going to be my transition color because i don't want like black and then bloop, nothing okay so we call it the transition color if you want to get fancy and i'm going to use let's do a light brown I've been using, Beth says, I've been using X out for dark circle in the areas where I've lost pigmentation. The thing is the X out leaves a very highlight. So Beth, what I would do is switch to, um, to a CC concealer. So X out comes in. Okay. Kathleen does not have a system. So let me back up. I'll answer Beth first and then I'm going to come back to Kathleen. Um, I would definitely do the CC concealer that comes in five different shades. Um, and then X out only comes in three. So you'll have more options with the, um, with the CC concealer and it's going to give you more coverage. Um, so I would start with that. I would do that. Um, Kathleen, if you're interested in airbrush, obviously airbrush the system. We have some amazing deals. Um, and what I would recommend is reaching out to one of the ladies that are putting the icons are the icons of, uh, thumbs up lips and lipstick. Those are our luminous beauties and they're, they sell their consultants. Um, and they can really help you what they're going to do. What, and it also, I mean, I don't, are you, thinking about becoming a luminous beauty because that's a whole other issue, but not issue, but a whole other talk. Um, but to get this system, the way our systems work is you get a system, an airbrush system and makeup. We're not like, Hey, here's your system. Bye bye. No, we, it comes with makeup. And so the, what the consultants can do is, um, is help you figure out, um, what shade you are. Um, let's see. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Um, and just looking at your itty bitty picture that I see, you're probably going to be around a three, three to five. I, I, I would have to blow up that picture to see. Um, Beth, yes. Lose pigmentation. Yeah. Cause you can start concentrating on that pigmentation where you've lost pigmentation and even it out and then go over it that way. Um, oh, the peach cover, the peach cover up could do it as well. Um, the peach cover up is sometimes easier to use just because it is more flesh color, I guess. Um, So it just depends. Hey, Mary, um, baby, don't put anything about your cup. The only thing our luminous beauties can do is put the thumbs up, the lips and the lipstick. Uh, let me just back up. Cause there's a lot of questions going on right now. Um, luminous beauty. <laughs> if you're a luminous beauty, because this is on our luminous cosmetic site, if you are a luminous beauty here and helping me and on here, on here, um, make sure you or know that 
the only thing Luminous Beauties can do on here is the thumbs up, the thumbs up, the lips, and the lipstick. That tells everybody that you're a Luminous Beauty. It is the person that is um, interested in, in learning more about the makeup or, or maybe even becoming a Luminous Beauty. They have to reach out to you. You cannot reach out to them. You can't put any more information because I don't, I want it to be even Steven here. I don't want to give somebody more um, visibility than somebody else. It's an even playing field here. So if you're Luminous Beauty, only emojis, that's it. If you're interested in learning more about becoming a Luminous Beauty, or you're, if you have more questions about makeup, maybe that I didn't answer, reach out to one of these ladies, okay? Um, I want them to reach out to you. I don't want that. I, I want you to reach out to them, not the other way around, because I don't want you to be bombarded with a whole bunch of people. All right. So, uh, oh, yay. Oh, that is so awesome. Um, no, Mary, that Mary, don't. I'm not spanking your hand, <laughs> okay? I know you didn't know. We have a lot of new beauty consultants on because it's such an amazing opportunity that I have to tell this, and I don't say it enough each time. Um, and you doing that just reminded me. So you're not in trouble. Um, but that's why I just say it. So um, I didn't mean to call you out or anything. Um, so all that being said, I do have to say that more because we have so many new people joining us and I want luminous beauties on here, especially if you're new, because there's always new stuff that you're going to learn. There's always something that comes up. There's all that stuff. So I want luminous beauties on here. Plus the fact you guys help me, um, and help me answer questions that maybe I can't see. Um, yay. Thank you, Jen. Yeah. I mean, guys, I've been doing this for, you know, a minute. I still learn. And so you never, ever, ever can stop learning. And that's what I love about Luminous. It's, it's so like cutting edge um, that you're always, always learning. Um, we're always upgrading it or, you know, changing the formula to make it better. We're not just be like, oh, okay, we love it. We're just going to sit on it. No, we're always doing new things. Um, so you can always learn. All right. All that being said, um, pigmentation, if you need more because it's the X out highlighting, I would probably just go for the CC concealer. You can try uh, the peach cover up. You can definitely try the peach cover. I think you're going to have more luck with um, the CC concealers. That's my opinion. And we all know everybody has an opinion. <laughs> but what works for me might not be you. That's why I always tell you guys so many different things because there's you have to find out what that formula is and how it works for you. Um, yay, Mary shares a video. Yeah, share these bad boys. Share them. It, it gets more people here uh, when you share on your page as well and they can ask questions. Um, you know, you don't have to sit there and, and answer every question for them, which is kind of nice too. All right. So now I'm going in, um, I was going to do black, but I think I'm going to do the dark brown in the nude and naughty palette. Um, yay. all right. So with a flat eyeshadow brush and guys, let me know if I missed something during my big spiel. Let me know. All right, so I'm now doing the Nude and Naughty palette, the dark brown that I normally do right here in my crease, I'm going to do on my lid. Guys, look how pigmented that is. I mean, come on. Dark pigment, let's see. Well, that conversation has, oh, yay. <laughs> I have dark pigmentation from jawline up to the base of the ear. Like, a, it's kind of like a pregnancy mask or something like that. So, Cindy, there's two different things. Loss of, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, guys. Loss of pigment is going to be lighter 
Whereas you have, if you have like um, the darker pigmentation, pregnancy mass, things like that, you're going to address those differently. I find with loss of pigmentation, if it's lighter, it's easier to adapt it to your, like concentrate the product where it's lighter to get more skin tone. So you even that out and you have to do the opposite for dark pigmentation. So if you have the dark pigmentation, you could possibly do X out to lighten it and then airbrush over that. Does that make sense? Because those are two very similar but different things that we need to address. Okay, so now I'm going back to <laughs> Y'all are, this is like the best, y'all are asking the best questions. All right, so I'm going back in and notice I'm just tapping the eyeshadow on. I don't have to swipe it. I don't have to do anything like that. It goes on. My answer for this, I always say, like bottle. I mean, it really does. I'm putting the, the color in there putting my brush like this and then the other thing I would suggest guys when I if y'all ask me questions like that I'm like oh I would try this or I would try that I'm gonna and being that I'm not in sales um the one thing I would do all of most of our bottles come with the small bottles the 0.25 and the point, see, I need to shake these, the point, um, five, five. And so when you're trying something out, order the small bottles and see if it's going to work first. And then you can be like, Oh, it works. Yay. Let's do this. And then you can get the bigger bottles when you need it. Cause then that way you get to try more things. Oh, yay. Yeah. Our brushes are amazing. I am using the eyeshadow brush. Oh, yes. Uh, spreadable butter, not in the refrigerator butter. In the stick. Although, when I was little, not little, but when we would go to the beach, I would use butter flavor Crisco, like the goop stuff, as tanning. I would put that all over my body to attract the sun. Don't do that. If that sounds at all appealing, run from it. <laughs> do not do that. Wear sunscreen. That's when that's before we knew the damage. Or when I was young, like 18, and you think you're invincible. You're like, nothing's gonna happen to me. All right, so I took that um dark brown. And I did it from my lid, from my um, uh, lash line, all the way up to my crease. Now, see how this is not that exact. It's like, you know, like, uh, whatever. I don't care about that necessarily because I can go in and blend this. So now I'm going to blend where my transition color is to where the dark color is. Uh, Cindy asked if she should shake her bottles every day. Makeup and system, but I had issues to where color uh, sat on the sign. Broke. So, uh, oh, wait. No, it like popped up. Um, so, Cindy, I think it was Cindy. Um, Cindy, we have actually changed all of our bottles. So, there you shouldn't have the broken issue anymore. Um, you don't have to shake them every single day. Um, there's going to be settling. Um, if a, if a BB gets stuck, I do that and then I'll shake them. Um, foundations, blush, all that, you'll be fine. The only, um, one that I have problems with if it's been sitting there for a while is, um, are the luminizers. And that's just because it's a, um, heavier pigment. 
So that one, you do want to make sure that you start shaking to hear that uh, BB moving. But no, I mean, I've had bottles sit on my, you know, like in a closet for a year and I used, I started shaking them. I shook it like a polo rolling. All right, now I'm going. Uh, girl, yes, go with the fair skin and the fa and just do the um, our tanning solution. All right, now I'm still going in with the brown. I put it on the tip of the uh, flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to. Um, Marama, we, babe, can't do that, girl. We don't love that. All right, so now, and there we go. Okay, so right now, it might look a little dark and um, like kind of crazy. So you do have to kind of envision what it's going to look like when you have everything. This is when you'll be able to tell that lashes make a difference. Um, and so we will be able to tweak it a lot. So don't, um, it's kind of like, I don't want you to overthink it. Um, Yeah, I definitely don't want you to overthink it or overcorrect it at this point because it'll make, because right now I look like a raccoon because all you're seeing is this. I don't have anything else on. So we have to kind of envision everything else with it um, before we really correct it. Does that make sense? Okay. Now let's go in. I cleaned up the underneath and... Anybody who's used a dark eyeshadow, you know that like there's so much fallout and then you have to clean it up, but there's none. And so now I'm going to go in. It's already dry on my hands. I've actually put it on my hands um, because I wanted the warmth of my hand to um, heat it up a little bit. And then also notice I start out almost at my cheekbone area and not bringing it in. I, I'll bring it in when I'm blending it because I don't want it really piled up there. Oh, Danica, that's a good idea. Oh, they water in the corners. That. Oh, that is a difficult one. Um, if you're putting lashes on, I would definitely, and your eyes do that, um, take a break in between each one. Because um, sometimes just the act of putting the lash on can make it water. So definitely uh, take your time putting them on. This is our concealer. This is, I actually mixed egg crew and buff together um, and put it on my hand. Our concealers do not move once they are on. And so that's why I'm doing it this way. I wanted the warmth of my hand to, to move it around a little bit. Um, and then I'm blending that in. Now, again, if I step back and look in the mirror, it might look a little crazy because I have the dramatic eye plus the lightness underneath, but nothing else. Okay. So again, keep thinking ahead of the game. All right. All right. That buff concealer, the one that's buff, um, that really does kind of work as a, um, color corrector, which is pretty nice. All right. So now is there a foundation or concealer that is waterproof? Nessie, after you do it, use the 24-hour sealant. Spray it on after that. 
because you can also put it in certain areas. Oh, I forgot I was almost out of this. All right, putting my drops of foundation, I'm using Silk 4 and 1, shade 3. Yes, you do, Cindy. Cindy said you have to move more quickly blending up the concealer. And normally I do it like one eye at a time. Cindy. Yes, girl. It's all about blending. Now, the other thing is because I have my concealer that is giving me some highlight there. Um, yes. Final. What did I say? Final seal. I'll, I'll, I'll use it today too. Um, because I have the concealer on here, I'm not going to go up all the way to um, under my eye because I already have concealer there. But I do want to blend this. Um, Nessie, try the wine in the can. Um, they both should work. I just love the can on. I love the, but either one would work. It should work. So notice that I am four finger widths away. I keep moving. I'm not um, staying in one spot too long. I can take a step back, look at what I need to cover. Um, Danica asked if I prefer the powder bronzer or airbrush. Ugh. Honestly, it just depends. I like them both. Um, and I know that um, that's a one. I mean, it honestly with luminous, I have to say it, it just depends on how you're feeling that day. Um, because sometimes, I mean, yeah. Sometimes I like the shimmer of the airbrush one. Um, I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. Good question. All right. I'm going to use the Cut One palette for my contouring. Hey, Carrie. How are you? And with this one, I go all the way through. The one thing with bronzers is I do like um, multi-colors. I don't necessarily like just one shade. And so that's what I like about all of our bronze. Like the Bali and um, Belize have two colors. There's a shimmer and a, um, the airbrush one is faster, of course. Um, even our airbrush ones, there's a shimmer and a matte one. Ugh. Nessie, um, that's a hard one, girl. Um, if your eyes are watering, the only thing I would do is possibly like try to catch the eye before it waters. Um, cause you can kind of put a Q-tip in there before it, it waters. <sighs> what can see, uh, what concealers do you use? Do you use the airbrush one? Oh, yay! Cindy, I know. I love it. You can use it. The Cut One palette you can use for eyeshadow. You can use, um, obviously, for contour and highlight. Okay, Nessie, what I would what I would recommend is um, switch try our C the um, these concealers, our regular concealers, just because they do not move. 
And so I'm thinking if you can get those on and it might be when you're, it might be that your eyes sensitive if you get all the way up or angle your airbrush down when you're putting it on. Cause it might be, your eye might be watering because of the air. Some people are just gonna be sensitive. Um, so definitely do go this way. Um, and if that's not working, then I would try these concealers because I, it, just see if that works. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, Cindy, they jump back and forth for sure. All right, so I'm now going to go to lashes because I want you to see the difference that the lashes make, even though we're not finished with the foundation, or I'm not finished doing my thing. I'm actually going to contour my nose a little bit. This one's going a little bit long. All right. Let me get my come on, tweezers out. I have my lash already picked out. I'm dragging it through my glue like that. Just on that end. Now getting the other one. Hey, Christina. Good to see you. All right, so I have one lash. So I'm going to speed up the process and let my fan dry that a little bit. Hey, Sherry, how are you? All right, so I have my lash. And I'm going to get my up and close and personal mirror. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is curl my lash. Curl. If you're going to curl your lashes, curl them before putting the fake ones on. All right. I look down and put that on. It's just in the middle. Nothing else is sticking. Um, I haven't placed them yet. So I'm going to stick the end to the outside first. And because I'm going to have to get my up and close Thank you, Rebecca. And I think uh, I have new hair and um, I feel a little rock starish. So that's why I wanted to do like a smoky eye. So I can be a rock star today. But guys, look at that. Does that not make the biggest difference ever? Cindy, you're so sweet. Um, but girl, if you're sitting here right next to me, you would see I'm covering up some stuff, okay? <laughs> Good lighting makes a difference. Um, I just put it on the outside. I might have to drag it a little bit more. Uh, Beth, you sure can. It's in, it, uh, it'll be under accessories. Or reach out to uh, customer service 
or one um, or your um, luminous beauty consultant. All right, so lashes are kind of on this one. I need to make sure it's going to stick. So I have to keep my eyes like this. All right, so to pop up the eyes even a little bit more, um, I'm going to add some things. Because like I feel like once you have the lashes on and everything's coming together, you can start tweaking it um, and see if there's something else that you need to add. Does that make sense? So I'm going to go back to my um, nude and naughty. I'm going to pop up that eyebrow bone to make a little bit more of a contrast. Okay. And underneath where I've lined with eyeshadow, I'm going to smoke it out a little bit more, just make it a little thicker. And the only reason I'm, or the reason I, my thought process is I have so much up here that I kind of want to even it out. And make it a little more dramatic. See how that kind of evened everything out? <laughs> All right. And of course, I'm going to go with Circle of Life. And add my little bit of shimmer. Right there. And then the only thing I'm missing are my lips, which definitely for this look will be, I mean, I don't want to do um, anything too crazy because I already have um, the boldness. I'm actually looking for this brush again. Uh, the boldness with the eyeshadow. So I don't want to draw too much attention away from that. Um, so let's do, my go-to is always, um, I love our lip vinyls, guys. But what else can I do? Maybe this one? Okay, let's do Yeah, let's do it. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Um, this is the lip stain, the metallic lip stains. And this one is, I can't read it, something jazz. Which one is the jazz one? I don't have my glasses on. Oh, yay, Jen. Yeah, the collector's vault is amazing for the Lion King. Because I went with a matte eye, even though it's super smoky. And then I can go with more of a shimmer on the lips. Um, Sienna Jazz. Cindy, that's what I did. I couldn't read it. Yeah, Sienna Jazz. Um, that's what I did. Um, cranberry Pop. Who's that? You want to see that one? That is. There, and I'll do it on my hand. Oh, so pretty. It'd be pretty on you, Musette. That's beautiful. Beautiful. All right. There you go. Um, I think one other thing that I'm going to do is I feel like I need to reel in the underneath my eyes. Um, I'm taking the powder brush 
and using the flat white, I'm just going to powder a little bit. And a knife. And then I'll come back up here. Oops, hold on. And I'm just bringing the blending, the bronzer or my, um, there you go. And voila, we are done guys. And the Sienna Jazz is going to stay on forever because it is a stain. I want to get, uh, before we leave, I want to get to Melissa's comment real quick. Um, Melissa says, I love the makeup. The customer service is awful. I've asked for for certain shipping dates, spend a lot of time on the phone and it gets screwed up and quoted different prices of different customer service reps. I'm very fresh. So Melissa, if you do not want, I don't know if I can say that, reach out and um, reach out and get a consultant. The consultants put their emojis. They put thumbs up lips and lipstick. Um, reach out and talk to them. Okay. If you're having the for some reason I just went away. Luminousbeauty.com. Um Gabrielle, what? Okay, Matricia Bush and Sponges. I'm just confused. Um And I'll let, you need to talk to a manager, bottom line, talk to a manager um, and let them know. We actually have, I would, I swear, one of the best customer service. Um, so either email me or call and just say, Heather told me to reach out to a manager um, and get a hold of them. And they'll straight, just let them know what happened. Say, I've had this, this, and this, and they'll uh, reach out. So Gabrielle, I little confused on what you're saying. Uh, Luminous became a traditional makeup with brushes and sponges. Ha ha ha. Um, we do have some traditional makeup and we do have brushes and they're mainly in color cosmetics. So it's our eyeshadows, it's cheeks, because we know not everyone is going to do straight out airbrush. And so we are becoming a full color line. And yes, we are coming with um, out eventually with a foundation um, that is non-airbrush. But I'll tell you what, who do you want to come out with a non, with a traditional foundation? An airbrush company, a true airbrush company, because that's what we're comparing everything to. So you can rest assured, girl, it's going to be the best and amazing. Um, but come on. I mean, we have everything that you would need. Um, all right. Okay, y'all are talking. Okay, thank you, Cindy. All right. There you go, guys. Um, this is a long one. All right. Let me know if y'all need anything else. But I'll be back here tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you guys and have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. All right.